I'm so excited about today's lesson. There's some really fun things. There's a lot of moving parts in today's course. From the hands underneath the shoulders, exhale the breath completely. The knees are on the mat. I'm going to inhale, press up to modified plank. Welcome back to your Foundations of Yoga. Pressing up to a plank from the floor. This is typically done when a huge class is in the beginning where we're warming up between cobras and downward facing dogs and kind of getting the, the body ready for an upward facing dog and getting the upper body primed and ready and warmed up for those movements. We'll do a, from the cobra, we'll place the hands underneath the shoulders. So after we do our cobra flow, exhale forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead down. From this place, your hands are underneath the shoulders. Fingers are spread wide. Tuck all 10 toes. Once you tuck all 10 toes, engage the legs. You'll notice once you engage the legs and you turn the muscles of the legs on that the kneecaps lift off the mat. From here, exhale the breath. After you exhale completely, press up to plank. Inhale, plank, broaden through the chest, lengthen through the neck, downward facing dog, exhale. Deep breath in, big breath out. Very good. I'm gonna show you a modified version of that next. So inhale, come forward to plank. I'll exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. We'll do a cobra, tops of the feet on the mat. Inhale, cobra, lift the chest, lift the eyes. Exhale, forehead down. Next, we'll do a modified version so you can see the difference there. So instead of tucking all 10 toes, I'm gonna leave the tops of the feet on the mat. Hands are underneath the shoulders, just as in the full version of the plank press up. From the hands underneath the shoulders, exhale the breath completely. The knees are on the mat. I'm going to inhale, press up to modified plank. One line from the knees all the way up through the crown of the head. To go to downward facing dog from here, tuck all 10 toes and then downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Very good. Why is a modified plank so amazing? You know, some days we come to our mats and we come to practice and we're exhausted, our wrists are hurting, you've been working on something, or you just need a little to take the edge off. Modified planks and modified chaturangas are such a great place to work from. Modified chaturanga is not easy either. <laughs> so, from a modified plank right here on the knees, I want to show you a modified chaturanga. So with the uh, shoulders over the wrists, take a deep breath in, feeling long through the spine. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. You can do a high cobra from here. And then from the knees, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'll show you that one more time. So inhale to a high plank, lower the knees for a modified plank. Take a big breath in from the knees. There's one line all the way from knees up through the tailbone, hips, shoulders to the crown of the head. Exhale, bend the elbows toward the back of the mat for modified chaturanga. Good, from here you can do an upward facing dog, but I'm gonna do a high cobra. So my thighs and my knees are still on the mat. Really feeling the stretch in the front body. And then from here, I'm gonna tuck my toes from the knees, pull the navel up and in, downward facing dog, press the hips up high. That's a wonderful modification flow for your vinyasa to take really some of the intensity out. And you really keep that body awareness when we modify it. So instead of like, if your body is not strong enough, 
yet or you're not feeling like doing the full plank chaturanga flow or you lose the integrity of the strength, that is a great place to feel so strong and it's still a very powerful strength building flow on the knees. I just love that. Thank you.